Today we finish our week on bread and miraculous feedings of 5,000 and 4,000 people by Jesus by turning back to the Gospel of Mark to chapter 8. And this is after he has fed the 4,000. And then Jesus get in, gets in the boat with his disciples and the disciples have forgotten to bring any bread. Uh, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. And Jesus starts to caution the disciples to watch out for the yeast of the Pharisees and the yeast of Herod. And the disciples, kind of like the three stooges here, playing stupid for our benefit, uh, say, it's because we have no bread. And that brings us to our verses for today, Mark 8, verses 17 and 18. And becoming aware of it, Jesus said to them, why are you talking about having no bread? Do you still not perceive or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and fail to see? Do you have ears and fail to hear? And do you not remember? So picture yourself as one of the disciples in a boat, not on a river, uh, but on a lake. And you've seen Jesus feed 5,000 people and 4,000 people, and you're still thinking you have no bread. And Jesus is looking for several things that reflect the importance for us in understanding his teaching. Uh, he wants understanding minds, first of all. He wants receptive hearts. Do you, are your hearts still hardened? He wants us to have perceptive eyes, eyes that can see spiritually what God is doing in our midst. He wants us to have understanding ears. You notice how Jesus touches on all those things just in these two verses. Our minds, our hearts, our eyes, our ears. And the last thing he touches on is our memory. Uh, do you not remember? And so here in just these two verses, Jesus touches on how if we're going to understand his teaching, if we're going to understand things spiritually, it involves all of our being. It involves our minds, our intellect. It involves our heart, our ability to see and to hear spiritual things, and then to remember, to recall what God has done, to recognize what God is doing and where Jesus is with us, even in our midst. The ludicrous or comical nature of this scene is to be in a boat with Jesus who has demonstrated the ability to feed 5,000 and 4,000 people and to think we have no bread. They are totally missing the boat, if you will. We don't want to be like that. So I pray that God will give you an understanding and comprehending mind perceptive and sensitive eyes and ears, and the ability to remember and recall and recognize that Jesus is in our midst. And if he is, we don't have anything to worry about.